woman who wants to be a man, but the way you are behaving, they don't correct it. The way we behave, they don't correct the way we behave. So we are the fact that we're being told them how we choose to behave around people. That's how we're going to judge us. Like, you are being a man. You want to show me that you're a man. You can't go after a man, a, a woman who's got a, 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 a man and is married, and you want to get into their house. You want to get into their home. Which are they saying, what are you? What are you telling to people when mm. that they're behaving and doing? It's fine to show us being a proven point of view of a man, you are a dog. But what dangers are you attracting in your life? Exactly, exactly. And those spaces. Oh, so the men can be, can, can and do. Exactly. exactly. And, yeah, and yeah, the spaces can... these, these bushes go into as well. Chap, I don't mind people going out drinking and you know um, being social. But this those spaces where you have to look and see, okay, assess the situation or more. If I get too drunk, my ass. There is no way I can sit. I'm not saying everybody's bad, but there's some spaces like maybe a house party and you are the only female. Hey, just because you are a butch does not mean if there's 15 guys there. Um, you are one of the guys. No, you you become the woman, my guy. You become the woman. So there's no way you could be like ah ah. Can I get to see the Fifteen guys and you're drinking and there's no other girls and you think you are fine. That is a problem. That is a problem. Remember what happens to the mind when the person is intoxicated? Exactly. It happens to them too. Every woman is pretty. So I don't know if you are wearing your your braids like. <laughs> Your you are you you Exactly. Exactly. There are spaces women in. Exactly. I know that women are transgender persons, they, they, they know that you're a transgender person, mm. they respect you for who you are. Mm. And you, you know who to show and who not to show. Mm. Uh, but, but the most, it, 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 it has became something like a problem. You know, if you look at um, the high rate of um, queer bodies who have been killed and mm. led up. And raped as well. Light, Yeah, you need to be aware of your spaces. Just because I think that's where well, also the like, way mm. awareness. You need to be aware of okay, yes, I hear but association faithful. Exactly. And this thing of them walking at night with the guys, ah Monday, let's just go there and there, there. Hey, hey <laughs> You guys they be toxic to themselves. Exactly. Exactly. Go to show that not every guy you trust, you can trust with your life. Has good intentions. Has good intentions as well. With application, which is very big like, yes, I'm not this person, yes, this person is my friend, but in my sleep, I love them. True. Yeah. Yes, but those ones who were unfortunate, but can I not go to my wife and send her to the friend of everyone? Yeah. So, to lockdown, we would have much of women who are being killed and raped. But it happens, you know, it happens in every woman's story. If you have to have this particular sexuality to experience patriarchy, like it's a journey or whatever, it's a woman's struggle. Mm, it's a woman's struggle for but it's, it's more painful when another woman is projecting that to another woman. Exactly. A woman who's in a same sex relationship, who is now. When I'm with this woman, it's my safe zone. Exactly. So when your safe zone gets right on with families and songs, where are you gonna hide? Yeah, that that becomes difficult. And then um, going back now to to that um, couple type of setup, where the toxic masculinity also comes in 
with factors like of abuse and rape. My thing is like if I'm a woman and you're a woman, how dare I hit you? Because I know how it is to be a woman in that space. How dare I rape you and say I love you and we are both women? I ah, I don't get it. Oh my god. As long as you don't go outside, okay. I have to. I have hey, to. I have to. to. I have to. It's like that. Damn it. Oh my god. I, I, I don't understand how women can put other women through this sort of thing and they say they love them. I, that, that one needs a whole episode on its own. It's called like Miss Chiancy, Kuroganda, that man in the house. That's the sign of it. Because for me, in my head, I think if you know, for example, if you know, okay, I grew up, um, the stove was hot. When I grow up, I'm going to make sure I turn off the stove. That's what I'm thinking when it comes to things like this. Why would I want to subject the person that I say I love to the same thing that happened to me back then? Yeah, it, it, oh, I guys. Exactly. So, and then you ask yourself, well, if you fixed your whole situation in the head, I just this much. Okay. Why aren't you looking at the pattern and behavior of your father that you are bringing into the future? Yep. I've been told that you you are a doctor that holds your glass mm. and okay, you live with it. Who can allow money? The whole thing to the soul, the whole thing to the soul. They've been asked about their behavior and whatever you say or do, it won't change because. And if you love someone, you are willing to change those factors and aspects of your life to accommodate and um, meet this person halfway. Compromise. Do they care? I doubt. I, I doubt. I doubt also. It's not about them. It's not I about doubt. how they want to have the final say. I doubt. Because when you talk, like, you don't want to accept your wrong. You're always right. Mm. Mm. And you, you facts. <laughs> Big fat. If the behavior of how I was, the part of the pattern of how my parent has treated the other parent, mm -hmm. and I feel like that to that will change it. Yeah. And I always say to people, sometimes it's not your fault. It's okay you're in, but just look at how you grew up. Then you'll find the root cause. Mm -hmm. Your surroundings, your neighbors, your family, your male teachers. It's those little triggers. It triggers the way you are now treating the person in your life group. But some, they grew up in a very bad environment and we made decisions that, yes, I grew up like this, mm. but now it's up to you to change exactly. the narrative and say, yes, they were abusive, mm. yes, they were patriarchal. I do 
would want to be that. But not me, eh? Not me. Not me. Not in my name. Even our organization, like right? not in my name. Yeah. Like, so, <laughs> yeah. It's a choice. It's an individual's choice. It's, it really it is. It's down to choice and decision. I, I, I would, for me, I would like to sit with one abuser or, you know, someone who's actually raped and try and see, and play, come on, what pushed you to do this and how did you feel afterwards? And, you know, try to probably like get their perspective, their side of the story because... You know, people who are abusers actually admit they're abusers. You see, I, not many... Most of them call us victims, the crazy ex. Hey. So even their next victim doesn't get to know who the truth of who they are because we are judged as a meat as the Lenoir who I dated and she's a crazy psycho girlfriend. Not so they broke her. Hmm. So you never know the truth. Why do you leave Lenoir? Why do you never want to feel like she was crazy, she was psycho, she was rude my name because Lenoir wants to talk about how you were treating her and now it becomes a psycho case. I would like, I, I would just like well, that one person who wants to change the narrative that they had and sit with them and they tell us, you know, from their side of the story, not that they are a changed person, probably, and tell us why, how, you know, it, it happened and how did you feel afterwards? You... We will watch this, probably, and learn to... Maybe after watching it, um, they'll say, if I am this person, I'd like to have a conversation <laughs> with the show. I hope so. I, I really hope there's that one person out there who would definitely do, do that. Yeah.